Hey guys, I'm Teresa Sterling and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a holographic inspired makeup toot. Um, it's pretty much based around this product right here. This is the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drop in the shade Halo. Now, when I first started this video, the intention was to have it be like coppery and yellow and orangey and warm tones and using glitters and all that good jazz. But as soon as I put this on, I pretty much changed my entire direction of the look and kind of wanted to make it a holographic inspired look off of this product. Now, um, you're going to see in the tutorial one, it's just this. It really comes out like a purple holographic color and it's really, really pretty. So I wanted to kind of keep like a purple theme all throughout my face, but kind of keep it very wearable because I know in the summertime, it's really fun to bring out new colors and try out different makeup and stuff. Fall and winter is like the dark dramatics and then summer and spring is like the light, the colorful. It's fun to play around and you know, see what looks you guys can create. For me, whatever I think holographic, I think purple. So I kept with like that whole purple theme today. I just did some glitter liner, glitter liner on the waterline and then I kept it pretty mono, um, chromatic, is that the word, monotone, throughout the rest of my face. So yeah, this is the look that I came up with. I do want to say in the tutorial, my backdrop is this color. And that's because, like I said, when I started, I was going to do like a coppery, glittery tone. So my backdrops are different colors. It's the same video, same day. I just literally just switched them out because it was bothering me that the backdrop was no longer matching the vibe of my look. So I had to change it for the intro. Hope you don't mind. If you guys are new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. I upload new content all the time. Um, and also let me know what videos you use. Alright, so without any further ado, let's get on to the video. Hey, it's me putting my hair up in a bun. Everyone asks how I do it. That's how I do it. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get this show on the road. First off, I'm spraying my face with Max Fix Plus. Um, it's just really good to make my skin feel nice and hydrated and dewy. Then I'm going to prime my skin. This is the Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I just pulled it out of my drawer. I wanted to try it. It was pretty nice. I don't really have large pores to begin with, but it felt nice on my skin, so I liked it. Um, for foundation today, I'm using the CoverGirl Stay Luminous Foundation. I really, really, really like this foundation. I think the coverage is really natural and dewy, and it just looks like skin. It's really nice, and it smells like almonds, which I really enjoy. So I first packed this on with a Real Techniques brush. Then I blend it all out with a Beauty Blender. This will just take off like the top layer that might just be sort of sitting on my skin. Any makeup that hasn't absorbed, this will just take it right off and make it look more natural and less, I mean it doesn't really look cakey at all to begin with, but it will make sure that it doesn't get cakey throughout the day. Now this is the Maybelline, I think it's called Master Conceal. Um, it's a new concealer. I have, well it's new to me anyway. I don't know if it's new on the market, but I haven't tried it. Um, I put it on the back of my hand and then just pounce it in with my, my beauty blender. I've really been liking this technique of applying concealer lately. And I'm really, really impressed. I think it looks really good. I think the color is nice and bright. And uh, yeah, the coverage was really nice. I forgot to set my lids when I put concealer on my lids. And then later on in the video, I like went and did my eyeshadow and my concealer wasn't creased. So it doesn't crease either, which is a huge plus in my book. This is the RCMA No Color Powder, my favorite ever. I'm going to use this to lightly bake. This is like not even really baking. This is pretty much just setting my concealer with a translucent powder and a beauty blender underneath my eyes. I do have an entire video all about baking if you guys want to check that out. Um, but yeah, I'm just setting my under eyes, smile lines, nose, and forehead. I pulled this little old guy out of the drawer. This is the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And I think I got a little too much. I forgot how like um, pigmented this bronzer was because it looks really splotchy when I first put it on. But I eventually ended up, you know, I blended out, made it work because it did not look cute when I first put it on. It was way too like splotchy on my skin. You can kind of see that I'm like, what is going on? This is the custom, no, not the custom cover effects, just the cover effects enhancing drops in the shade halo the new shade what this video is based around yeah, yeah, yeah you guys already know what's up um so i'm still figuring out the best way to apply these i first started off with three little dots then it just sort of got dotted all over my face and nothing really was accomplished so then i switched out to my finger i think using your finger first and then the beauty blender is the best way and also making it in a stripe not really dotting it on seems to work the best but i'm still figuring it out but like i was saying in the intro 
And when you first put it on, it it's like this white, amazing, beautiful highlight. And then once you turn your cheek a little bit and you see it, it's like this purple. It's in, like an iridescent purple. It is so pretty. And as soon as I saw that, I was like, okay, I have to change up my entire look because this is what I want to do. I want to be purple today. And I really, I wish I had it. I don't, I don't own a highlighter that's this color, but I wanted a purple highlighter and I just wanted to like drown my face in purple highlighter. Oh my God. Like I was living for it. So yeah, that's when I pretty much decided to change up the entire look of today. As you guys can see, I'm feeling this music. I will show you in a sec that I was really feeling it. This is the... Too Faced new highlighters. I think this one is blinded by the light or something like that. Um, but I wanted this one because I thought it would be a little bit more iridescent than it was. Um, I mean, ideally, I would have liked to put a purple highlighter on top of that. So if you guys have like a purple highlighter, use that. But any sort of light white highlight will work just to set that in place. Shut up. Start dancing, hold love chance and that song like gets me so amped up i put it in my spin class this morning and it was like fire everyone loved it it was amazing so this is the mac this is a super old 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 blush but i really just wanted that light pink shade um i have well dressed by mac and that worked well like it could work but this one's just a little bit more of a warmer pink so that's why i opted for this thing all right moving on to my eyes this is soft brown by mac and i'm applying this with a 224 in my crease um this is just a transition shade just to add warmth into my um lid and a little bit of definition onto my eye this is brulee by mac it's like a soft white creamy shade and i'm putting this on my lid just to define it a little bit more this eye look is so easy it's like ridiculous how easy it is um, but now I'm going to go in with the shade Yogurt by MAC, which is like a purpley brown tone. It's really, really pretty. I really haven't seen a lot of looks. I mean, a lot of colors like this. The closest color that I can get to it is Tease in the Naked 2 palette. But I just love this shade. And I'm sponging this on my upper lash line and on my lower lash line so that when I put the purple on, it kind of fades up into this. I mean, it's not really like a great smoky look, um, but it just has a little... You know it has a little help blending into the eyes it's not like a stark purple on my eye that i'm putting on this is the glitter liner by nyx i will have the shade listed down below but i'm just winging out my upper <clears throat> oh my god and now i'm choking winging out my upper lash line this is a purple liner you can see i was like kind of surprised that it came out but whatever i'm putting this on my waterline and i'm also being Pretty messy with it and sponging it onto my lower lash line I just really want it to be like a pretty smoked out opaque purple it's not that smoked out I don't really know why I said that just sort of like a messy thrown on there look I'm going back in with the Too Faced highlighter and throwing this underneath my brow to tie together my cheeks and my eyes and then I'm also putting this on the inner corners of my eyes now I'm just applying some mascara this is Smashbox x-rated mascara and of course I have to put it on my lower lashes it just completely ties the look together and it makes the purple pop a little bit more with a little contrast on those lashes then I'm throwing on some actual lashes these are Ardell wispies you guys know my ride or die yada yada, yada. okay moving on to lips while my other lash dries, I'm first going to line my lips. Oh, something that I do want to say about lashes is I did not use dark lash tone today because I didn't want to mess up the purple. I used clear and then let it dry clear and then I put purple back over top of it. Um, so I just lightly line my lips and then I'm going in with two lip glosses and mixing them together. One's white, one's purple. I thought it was fitting. Um, the first one is by MAC and it's in the shade Stop Look and it's so old, discontinued, but any purpley lip gloss that you have is going to work and then the look is completed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys all did enjoy this video and if you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you liked it. And um, yeah, if you guys want to see more videos from me, you're in luck. My, let's do it on this side. We never do it on this side. My last video is right here and then there's also one more up here just for you to check out. Um, yeah, check them both out.
Let me know if you guys like them. I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye.